You might be a fan of F1 racing, but have you ever wondered how those lightning fast Formula One cars transition from sketches to roaring around the racetrack? It's not magic, but it's pretty amazing. Today, we're going to take a fun ride and explore how these incredible cars are built step by step. Get ready to see how a simple idea turns into an actual speed icon. A Formula One car is a single-seat, open-wheel racing car designed for Formula One events. It features substantial front and rear wings and an engine positioned behind the driver. The cars are constructed by racing teams themselves as per unique championship regulations. Formula One cars can reach speeds of up to 233 miles per hour, with average speeds of 200 miles per hour on typical circuits. The precursor to Formula One racing can be traced back to the early 20th century, with events like the Grand Prix de l'Automobile Club de France, established in 1906. During this period, cars were largely derived from production models, with modifications made for racing purposes such as enhancing engine power and improving handling. The post-World War II period saw the formalization of Formula One racing with the establishment of the Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile or FIA, in 1946, and the introduction of the Formula One World Championship in 1950. Racing cars of the 1950s were typically front-engine, rear-wheel drive configurations with simple tube-frame chassis and inline engines. Notable cars from this era include the Alfa Romeo 158, Ferrari 375, and Mercedes-Benz W196, featuring iconic designs and pioneering engineering. The 1960s and 1970s witnessed significant advancements in Formula One car design and technology. The introduction of the mid-engine layouts revolutionized car dynamics and handling, with rear-engine configurations becoming the norm. Aerodynamic development, including the adoption of wings and spoilers, enhanced downforce and cornering speeds. Safety improvements such as roll cages, seat belts, and fire suppression systems became increasingly prevalent following tragic accidents. The 1980s marked the dominance of turbocharged engines in Formula One, leading to unprecedented levels of power and speed. Carbon fiber construction became widespread, offering lightweight and high-strength chassis designs. Advanced electronic systems, including traction control and semi-automatic gearboxes, began to appear, enhancing driver control and performance. The 21st century saw Formula One cars evolve into highly sophisticated machines blending cutting-edge technology with strict regulations, aimed at controlling costs and improving safety. The introduction of hybrid power units in the 2010s brought new challenges and opportunities, combining internal combustion engines with energy recovery systems for increased efficiency and performance. Continuous refinements in aerodynamics, materials, and powertrain technology have led to even faster lap times and record-breaking performances on the track. F1 cars are comprised of an astounding number of individual components, totaling around 14,500. These components range from the smallest nuts and bolts to highly specialized parts, like engine components, aerodynamic elements, and electronic systems. Each part plays a crucial role in the overall performance and functionality of the car. While F1 teams have the freedom to innovate and develop their proprietary technologies, certain components of the car are standardized and are prescribed by the regulations. These standardized parts, such as gearboxes and clutches, are produced to the uniform specification and can be shared or traded between teams. This helps to control costs and promote parity among teams, preventing one team from gaining an unfair advantage through exclusive technologies. Top-tier F1 teams start their design process more than a year before the start of the racing season. This early start is crucial as it allows enough time for research, development, and testing of new technologies and innovations. Central to the design process is the input from the team's drivers, who provide invaluable insights based on their on-track experiences and preferences. Engine and chassis team leaders work closely with the drivers to gather feedback on the strengths and weaknesses of the current car as well as their specific requirements and preferences for the upcoming season. The process typically begins with conceptualizing the car's design, involving aerodynamicists, chassis engineers, and other specialists. Advanced computer-aided design, or CAD software, is used to create detailed 3D models of the car's components, including the chassis, bodywork, wings, and suspension. Reduced scale models are tested in wind tunnels at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, 
to simulate real racing conditions before finalizing the design. Aerodynamics plays a crucial role in F1 car performance. Teams invest significant resources in wind tunnel testing and computational fluid dynamics or CFD simulations to optimize airflow over and around the car. Engineers design complex aerodynamic features such as front and rear wings, barge boards, diffusers, and side pods to generate downforce while minimizing drag. In the past, some teams ran full-scale cars in wind tunnels, but now the maximum is set at 60% to reduce costs. The chassis is the structural backbone of the car, providing support for the engine, suspension, and other components. F1 chassis are typically constructed from lightweight carbon fiber composites which offer high strength and stiffness while minimizing weight. Carbon fiber layup technicians carefully layer carbon fiber sheets impregnated with resin to form the chassis monocoque, using autoclaves to cure the composite materials under heat and pressure. The powertrain, which includes the engine, transmission, and related components, is a critical aspect of F1 car performance. Engines are highly specialized, turbocharged V6 units that are developed by manufacturers or engine suppliers, according to FIA regulations. Modern F1 engines are 1.6 liter turbocharged units that can rev up to 15,000 to 19,000 RPM, producing significantly more horsepower than typical street engines. F1 cars use E10 fuel containing 10% renewable ethanol. They are equipped with semi-automatic sequential gearboxes, which means that gear changes are initiated by the driver but executed electronically. Unlike traditional manual transmissions, there is no clutch pedal for the driver to operate. Instead, the gearbox is controlled via paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel. When the driver pulls on a paddle shifter, sensors detect the input and trigger the gearbox to shift to the next gear in sequence. FIA regulations specify that F1 cars must have eight forward gears and one reverse gear. Transmission systems are sequential gearboxes with paddle shifters designed to provide rapid and precise gear changes. The crucial process of connecting the gearbox to the engine requires approximately 20 hours of meticulous work. Most model parts are now made with rapid prototyping and 3D printing, with the wings made of metal. In the wind tunnel, the car is bolted to a central spine, and a fan blows air over it with a belt under it running at a matching speed. Parts undergo rigorous testing, including non-destructive testing or NDT, and physical stress tests ensuring reliability and compliance with regulations. The first assembly of the car in the race bay takes about a week, integrating the chassis monocoque with sub-assemblies. Before official testing, a shakedown ensures the car is correctly assembled and functional, typically conducted on a filming day with limited mileage. Sub-assemblies and full car assemblies are tested on rigs to simulate race conditions, ensuring durability and performance. The Ferrari 500 dominant in the early 1950s leveraged Formula 2 regulations to become a class-leading car. Alberto Ascari won seven consecutive races with it, securing back-to-back -back championships in 1952 and 1953. Its near-perfect record highlighted Ferrari's early dominance in Formula One. The Williams FW14B designed by Adrian Newey featured advanced active suspension and traction control, revolutionizing F1 in 1992. Nigel Manziel drove it to nine victories, securing the championship with ease. The car's superior technology and performance set a new standard in the sport. The Ferrari F2002, introduced mid-season in 2002, became one of the most dominant F1 cars ever made. Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello won 15 of the 19 races, with Schumacher finishing no lower than second from the Brazilian Grand Prix onward. Its exceptional handling and innovative design ensured Ferrari's near-total supremacy. The McLaren Honda MP44, designed by Steve Nichols and Gordon Murray, remains the most statistically dominant F1 car. In the 1988 season, it won 15 out of 16 races driven by Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost. With its superior Honda engine and aerodynamic design, it achieved an unmatched 93.8% victory rate. The Red Bull RB19, completed in 2023, has set new benchmarks in F1 dominance. With Max Verstappen at the helm, it achieved 14 consecutive race victories and 10 straight wins. Their RB19 consistently outpaced competitors, often finishing with significant leads, marking it as one of the most dominant cars in F1 history. That's a wrap on how F1 cars are made, from wild designs to whizzing on the track. It's an incredible process. 
so now you know how much work goes into these lightning fast vehicles. Let us know in the comments what part of the F1 car building process surprised you the most. And hopefully you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.